What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Stellaris Fallen Republic playthrough as the Republic Loyalist. So, first things first, just want to say thank you all for the comments on the last episode. Please do keep those coming, all the advice uh, and tips, suggestions, and all of that sort of stuff. One of the main takeaways um, from those comments in the last episode is we really, really just need to keep making friends. So we're going to keep it up, trying to get the Mandalorian clans to like us. Um, I think we're going to start going after getting the inner, uh, to the banking clans to like us. So we're going to go ahead and send an envoy because we've got one available. Um, so we're going to try to make them like us. And then we're also actively working on the Confederate remnant down here to, uh, to see if we can get them on our side. Um, we do want to make sure we keep up with the Bothans. So we are positive there. That's fine. Uh, Ryloth as well. I believe we're still in the positive. Yeah, we're still f well. It is going down All right, you know what we will manage that later right now There's really not much they can provide us at this point in time. So really quickly We do have to pick out a couple of techs. Um, we finished plus five percent research speed across the board So we need to pick something after that. I do think we want to go ahead and go turbo laser twos so we can get some upgrades on our ships. Uh, and then here we got the next level of planetary capital. Um, you know, colony, I don't think we're going to do much with that at this point in time if we were to get it. So let's go with the ship upgrade cost and the minus 5% to the ship upkeep. All right. Militarily, where do we stand? Well, um, we had been backdoored or I guess flanked, uh, as one commenter put it in the last episode. Um... We did take out that fleet, and we now are needing to counter this incursion that is coming down here. I also noticed that I was not quick enough. Uh, these guys right here, they need to land so we can take this planet before they're destroyed by this fleet, which they should have enough time to do, but when we unpause, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So, what are we going to do? Uh, these two fleets are going to head south, uh, and we are going to cut off their advance here. So we do have a 9k plus 2.6, so 11.6, uh, and then we also do have more uh, heavy cruisers coming down who will be merging up with some of these random like corvettes that are everywhere um, that I actually can't put in this fleet because it started over the fleet cap. So 16 out of 21, but um, we cannot actually fill that back up. So everything that we built on that is just going to merge up with these cruisers. Let's go ahead and unpause and get this thing rolling. Uh, we'll bump it up to fast. My plan with these guys is to take this territory back and have these guys cut this off down here. Um, all right, so we do have an archaeological site pending. Um, we might have looked at this at the end of the last episode, uh, but this is the hangar from the Sith, uh, the Sith ship. Uh, we get 1,500 uh, is that fighter parts? Yeah, starfighter parts. Nice. Um, unfortunately, we did have to abandon the excavation because the Empire uh, has a fleet in that system currently. All right, that is what us invading? Yes, it is. We're only 11 more than them, so we'll have to see how that goes. But now, if I were to tell you to repair, would you go there? You would. Okay. So I'm going to have you repair. Hopefully by the time you get done repairing, we can get everybody moved down here. And we do have this random, <laughs> this random cruiser fighting a, what is this? An escort cruiser. So our heavy early cruiser uh, is fighting one of their escort cruisers. And it looks like we're losing at this point. So yeah, maybe we can get a fleet down. Yeah, you'll get down there. That's fine. Evading hostile. All right, yeah, you need to get down there. You are going to stay here. Um, let's make sure you go and help. So go. And we'll merge these guys up once this battle's over. Um, yeah, let's go credits for information. Wandering force migrates. Uh, more devastation. Get some coordinates. And ooh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so we can now grab our rebel connections, which means we can put... Uh, rebel outposts on other planets. So let's grab that. Let's pop out of you before we unpause here. Uh, the Hut Cartel. 
da, 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 is now more xenophilic. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, let's get some of those rebel outposts going. Uh, let's see. Let's pick planets with heavy pops. So here, want to establish an outpost. Cost 1,000 credits uh, and 50 influence, but I think it will be well worth it. Uh, and let's go ahead and grab... Produces energy or energy and minerals or alloys. Let's go with the alloys. That's fine. Um, and then I also want to put one on Coruscant because reasons. I don't know what the mechanic is to get these destroyed. But we're going to put one here. Uh, and here I think we're going to go for more unity potential. Now... Uh, let's just do a smuggling base. A good old rebel smuggling base. Alright, clear all this out. Alright, archaeological site. The crashed ship. After taking a closer look, Tiana Fremlin reports that it's a Thranta class vessel. An old Krulian product for the Republic Navy during the Great Galactic War. The investigation team landed near the hangar and entering through it. Proceed. Alright. You're headed down. Very good. Where are you going? Okay, get over here. Alright, now if I tell you to repair, why are you falling? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You chill. Our other fleet's going to come through. You're going to get repaired, and then we'll come back. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to happen, unfortunately. All right, once you get in system, we're going to push down and see if we can't take them out. Okay. And just to make sure we jump at the same time, we're both going to go down there. Scientist died. Oh, no. All right, we got an ar another archaeological site. Hostile fleet encountered. All right, you guys, go. We want to make sure we get down here. I want to be able to punch this fleet in the face. Uh, new ruler mandate. Uh, Aqua Bassi has been elected as senator of the Republic Loyalists. Technology discovered. Uh, ooh, ooh, all right. We have got ourselves, uh, or we have unlocked rather the rise of the Empire Air Corvettes. So, let us grab, uh, unlock ship architecture tier one types. Yes, let's do that. Let's take a look at our ship designer here. Uh, and there it is, the hammerhead. Yes. So this, uh, compared to our other Corvettes, so the CR-90 does 16 damage, essentially. This does 52. 52. So we need to get some of these guys building. Um, let's go back to our shipyard and let's pump three of those guys out. Uh, and we'll merge it up with a random fleet. Uh, the inability of some local spiritual leaders on Chandrilla uh, to even begin to calm the important unrest. Da -da -da -da. Uh, okay. So that's going on. We also need to get colonizing. I have completely ignored this. Um, and if we're going to lose that southern territory down here, potentially, we definitely need to get, uh, to get some other stuff going. So let's go ahead and go with you. You'll colonize that. I also want to go ahead and colonize... No, not you. Let's see, probably, yeah, let's colonize you. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, so we'll get those colonies going. Uh, we do have planetary stuff we need to do that I ignored for some reason last, uh, to start this episode. Um, you, worker unemployment, that's perfectly fine. Um, how's our food? Ooh, actually we do need consumer goods. Uh, let's, oh, huh, lovely, we don't have the minerals, but let's go to the market and buy some, because we can. Uh, what were we gonna build? Yes, heavy industrial. There we go. You're in the north, so we'll get you going on something. Let's grab. We're sitting okay on most things. Bact is not great, but I do think we're going to need... Oh, I mean, Foundry is always good. 
Yeah, let's go with another foundry. Yeah, you're over there. Let's see. You got plenty of housing. Uh, more energy credits, actually. And we're lacking the <laughs> minerals again. Um, let's go to the market. Let's buy more. Let's get that built and let's get... Research, research, research. You know what? Let's just do another research build in here. Boom. Oops. All right. So that is done. Oh, have we engaged? I think we've engaged. Oh, we're about to engage. There go our starfighters. Come on, guys. CR-90s, do your stuff. Take those bombers out of the air. What are you guys rocking? Some Carillion ships. Uh, what about you? Bye. Come on, guys. All right, cruisers open up. I do love... We get a lot of firepower for these guys. Uh, for two ships, it's pretty decent. So it's going to be important for us to have these around in most battles because pound for pound, they're going to do most of our punching uh, in addition to our capital ships, obviously. Hey, we actually took that system. Nice. Yeah, this is very, very slowly dropping. My worry is once they take what they want down here, there's nothing stopping them from coming up this way. Like, there's nothing at all. So, yeah. All right. You guys will merge here in a second. All right. Where's this at? Down there. Okay, I'm not worried about that at this point. That being said, if we can get this fleet down there and get that defensive point back, I think we'll be able to hold because we'll want to build it up, obviously. Well, not that one. Was it that one? Might have been that one. I don't know. Either way, um, we'll need to get down there and actually defend. Governor's gained a trait. Very good. Independence has been guaranteed. Oh, yeah, that was another comment. I should guarantee some people's independence. Like, for example, you. Um, can I guarantee your independence? No, I cannot. I do have an envoy assigned. Yes, I do. And we can't just have that other envoy sitting around. We do need to send that somewhere. I've already got one with Corsac, I believe. Maybe the Black Sun, potentially. Uh, other than that... Mandalore's working with us. Well, they're not working with us technically, but... Uh, you know what? Trade Federation? You. Go. And I think I can actually offer you association status. Yes. Yes, I can. Alright, do that. Hopefully this gets approved. Yay. Alright, so they're associates now. Oh my god, this is still not over. And I'm running this on fast. Oof. Oh, how are my how are my big hitters, my star cruisers doing? Um taking some damage. You are down to armor, which isn't great. Oh no, did one of those get destroyed? Oh crap. One of those did get destroyed. Oh no. Um, we can actually always send you back down now. Now that you've repaired. Oh, come on. Finish them. All right, there we go. I think it's starting to roll now. All right. Archaeological site. Um, we'll wait for all this madness to go away before we actually read through that. Because this is loud. They are fighting to the last man. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Okay, we lost three Corvettes and a cruiser. Yeah, that hurts. That really hurts. We really, I mean, we can technically afford to lose it, but that definitely hurts. All right, do we have any more ships coming off the line yet? No, but we'll have three of those hammerheads done momentarily. Uh, security headquarters. 
From the hangar, the team passed a security headquarters, a barracks, and a depot, probably all used by the marine station on the ship. From small log fragments, we've learned that the ship's name is the Brental Star, which probably got destroyed by something they refer to as the Eternal Empire. Cool. Where are we at? Ah, we're over here. Hey, where did you come from? Do they really just keep throwing one ship in there at a time? They do. They really do. All right, you. If I tell you to repair. You are going to fall all the way back. Oh. You know what? We need to push for this. That's what we need to do right now. Um, let's turn, let's say you, turn you around. Main fleet here, we're going to keep pushing. Uh, hopefully we can get to this station before we run into anything, and then we can repair here. Alright, how are you doing? Hostile fleet encountered. Alright, you're about to take that. Where are we encountering hostile fleets? Down there. Okay, no, that's... That is what it is, and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, you need something. Um, let's get droid assembly plants going. Are you... Oh, there we go. Cool. Alright, reinforce that station. Okay, come on. Get in there. Hostile fleet encountered. Yeah, this is going to turn into exactly what happened last time, isn't it? Ah ha ha! Lovely. Alright, let's go. What are you... Okay, you're going... You should have come down here. Let's see, where... There you are. Alright, let's keep pushing it. Um, we're playing it a little bit dangerously here. Oh, crap. Really? Every single time I move a fleet... Um, yeah, let's, let's fall back. You, we're going to swap out. Wait, the system's still occupied. Oh my God. Really? That's still occupied. Okay. Yeah. You're going to fall back there. We're going to push this all the way out. At this point, we just need to keep pushing this war score up, like, or war exhaustion, rather. Yeah, crap. Okay, armies, I definitely need you to go repair. Uh, we also need to start kicking out more armies. Um, let's see, armies, fruit. I don't know what additional, like, what this does. It has more health, I guess. But other than that, all right, we need to go to the market. We need to buy a decent chunk of alloys here. Uh, let's make sure we keep recruiting here. All right, that will be where we're producing armies for now. Um, this ain't ideal. Not ideal. We should be able to take this fairly quickly. Yeah, the unfortunate thing. Oh, are we done with? <gasps> we are. Where's our hammerheads? Where you at? Where you at? Look at him. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. Eh, there we go. There's the hammerheads. All right, let's get you. Oh, that means our reinforcements can't get through because this is. Okay, we need you to come there. And I actually need you to. Yeah, we're going to have to poke this. And unfortunately, it is 3K. So it's going to be a tough fight. Um, You need to pr be producing stuff pretty consistently. I know we're way over our naval cap. Uh, We did just lose a dreadnought. So let's let's actually re replace that with two two dreadnoughts. Yeah, hopefully you sit there for a little while. Um, okay, you've taken that. Let's push out to here. Uh, 
translation software malfunction. It appears that a mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of our envoy to the Mandalorian clans. Oh, great. Oh, wait. Fortunately, the malfunction was swiftly uncovered and the Mandalorian took the incident with a sense of humor. That does not sound like a Mandalorian, but I'll take the plus 25%. Quat Drive Yards Raid. Ooh. Our spies have told us about a great opportunity at the Quat Drive Yards. Two Quasar Fire Class cruiser carriers are en route to replenish their consumables. I recommend we assemble a sizable raiding fleet under the command of our best admiral in orbit of our capital to secure these vessels for ourselves. You cannot afford to take the risk. Assemble the fleet. Wait, what? So, so are we going to have to send an admiral? Oh, I want those so badly. Okay, so do we assemble the fleet or? Issue special project quad drive yards raid. Long updated. All right, so we do have a. So one military ship in orbit. Um, several quasar cars. Where's this at? Oh, no, I don't want to track all. That's stupid. Is that going to be up here? If I take you, can I? No. All right, where? Where, 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 where? Dantooine. Okay. Oh, I need to have an admiral. Okay, where's that fleet? Please tell me you haven't left it. You haven't. Let's get you an admiral assigned. Um, let's go with ship weapons range. Now, is there a project here for me to do? One more trip to Dantooine. Okay, so you're gonna go over a bit. Hopefully that actually lets me do that. There we go. Research it. Oh, let's get some of those fire class carriers. Uh, Cantita Intel credits for information. Yeah, you're getting beat up and I apologize for that and the game has froze. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, Xerxium composites. Nice. So plus 5% to our monthly alloy production. Special project complete. Quat drive yards raid. The fleet has arrived and commenced the raid. Oh, so they're not going to tell me if it... <laughs> Ah, uh, no, really? From these reports, the hyperspace coordinates we used to calculate our jumps were out of date, and the bulk of our fleet collided with several unsuspecting vessels. So did I lose all of those? Oh my god, I lost all of them. No. <sighs> I should have only done one. Stupid. Why did I send all three ships? It said I only needed one. Ugh. Ew. All right, you fall back and repair. You, if I tell you to repair, okay, you do go up there. That's fine. Okay, that sucks. Fleet that really sucks. Come on, we just got to keep bleeding this. Why is this not ticking down quicker? I mean, I haven't taken any of their territory, I guess, which is Probably why it's not ticking down quicker. Alright, now if I tell you to repair... <coughs> excuse me. So here's our... Oh. Okay, I... There we go. So here's our conundrum. Do we pull the fleet back? To fight this off. The minute, the minute I pull my ships from down here, they're going to push back out. But I think that's just going to be half. It's going to have to be what we do. We're just going to have to keep putting out fires because that's honestly really all we can do. Maybe at some point we can hit these guys. I wish there was a, a system to where I could say, hey, Mandalore. Yeah, so... You guys like us, right? Yes? Okay, great. Could you like, you know, maybe close your borders to these guys? Potentially. 
Um, I wish we could do something like that. Yeah, see, there's nothing we can really do about it. But anyways, uh, it is kind of disappointing that they're an associate to us and enemy fleets keep coming to their territory. Yeah, you know what? Yep, yeah, go repair. That's fine. You get to get in. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, guarantee has been revoked. Fine. Ship up across minus 20. Ooh, naval cap. Yes. But I do need to keep punching out um, research labs. Can I not? All right, well, I guess we'll upgrade you. Yeah, that's in the north, so we should be fine on that. You are in the south. You're back in the north. Okay, let's pump out. Can't, because we have to upgrade it. You are down there. All right, let's research. Yes. Got to keep pumping out those, uh, those research labs. All right, can I build one here? I cannot, because we have to have a better, bigger building. Uh, let's go with more energy. Or more credits or whatever the heck they are in this game. So did my fleet encountered. I'm sorry, did I? Oh yeah, you went over here, right. Um, you're gonna chill there because that's gonna be the best place for you to survive if these guys decide to push up that way. And that army's gonna do its thing, that's fine. I really do need to get those guys merged up. All right, we've maxed out on food. So let's sell that. Hostile fleet encountered. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. All right, I need to swap you out so you can actually maybe potentially do some damage. Why not have... Oh, right, I have to do that. Um, And then maybe we can get a platform down. Let's wait it for a tick. There we go. If a fleet shows up, we'll we'll cancel that construction. But maybe just maybe we can get some of that going. Yeah. All right. So you are headed up there. Hostile fleet encountered. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it never really was unencountered. So, so um, calm down there, Sparky. All right, you're one jump away from repairing, and you really need to repair. Hostile fleet encountered. Is that going to be... Oh, come on. You're just going to keep throwing one ship down here? All right, you do what you want. I don't think you're going to be able to take out a station. All right, sweet. You're going to start repairing. Uh, can I fit... Ooh, I could. I can merge you guys up. Okay, you two merge. That's 30 and 83. So I actually couldn't merge you guys now. Unfortunate. What I will probably do is these guys, this fleet, the second armada, I will probably merge with the fourth armada. All right, how you guys doing? Yeah, you got a long way to go on that armor. Do I upgrade you? I don't think I can at this point in time. All right. You guys, go. Hopefully. Ooh, rebellious rumblings. Uh, as the Galactic Empire continues... To tighten its grip on the galaxy systems, yeah, no crap. Uh, discontent simmers. Though some have proposed under, uh, prospered rather, under Pal Emperor Palpatine's new order, many others have chafed under the Empire's increasingly draconian rules. Originally instituted as wartime necessities during the Clone Wars, various policies limiting political participation, stifling protests, and curtailing individual liberties have only intensified during the ostensibly peaceful rule of the Galactic Empire. More damningly, the scourge of state-sponsored slavery, a practice officially banned under the Old Republic, 
has reappeared with the proclamation of Imperial Decree ASL 4557.607.232 as a punishment for crimes against the civil order. Uh, designed to suppress any challenge to the Imperial Authority, these actions may, however, have had the opposite effect. From the core to the Outer Rim, protests against Imperial overreach flare, paralyzing local economies and undermining the Emperor's careful crafted, carefully crafted narrative of order and stability. Elsewhere, some groups pursue more violent alternatives, striking at isolated Imperial garrisons during the night, liberating slave camps, and ambushing vulnerable supply convoys. For now, these groups lack any semblance of unity or coordination, a diverse assortment of political idealists, descendants, separatists, and isolationists. Many of these groups are as suspicious of one another as they are of the Empire. However, the likelihood that they will set aside their differences and unite under single authority will only increase as the Empire consolidates its power. Alright, we should definitely keep an eye on that. All right, come on, guys. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, crap. Is that... Yeah. <sighs> now, all of a sudden, I've ticked up to 41%. Really? All right, I guess that's going to... Sure. Technology discovered. At some point, I, I want to push up here and take some of this territory and just kind of see what happens. Uh, realistically, is that... That's not even these guys. Where are you coming from? I don't even know where you're coming from, but... Okay. Okay, colony ships are heading out. Here's what we're gonna do really quick. Um... While you're chilling, I'm going to send the big fleet to go pop that so we can get some reinforcements, though we need to be careful. You head down. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. If they move, we're going to have to pull our fleets back. But we need to open up our reinforcement route. Like, that's a thing we have to do while we're back up here. Oh, oh, hey, what? Whoa, hey. Uh, the Mon Cal have made peace. And it ended... Wow, it ended status quo. I think the Mon Cal have survived. Unless they owned these, I don't remember what they owned, but they still live. I mean, it doesn't. A lot of good it does us. I'm not able to get over here and help. Uh, let's see, research. Uh, ooh, we finished our tier 2 turbo lasers. Um... Weapon Generator, Ion Cannons 2. Oh, and you know what? Let's let's cycle the cheap tech. That's that's perfectly fine. All right. Anybody coming at us from down here yet? No, that's a little nuisance, but it's going to have to be OK. Yeah, we've we have to open up this reinforcement route like there's nothing else we can do about it. All right, how are you doing? You're still sitting there. Okay. Establishing colony. Can I merge you guys? I think you, yes, I can, and I, I am still so mad that, oops, we lost those dang hammerheads that we just built. All right, let's get a couple more rolling off the line. Come on, make it quick. Don't lose too much. Let's keep an eye over here. That's fine. Oh, thank God we've retaken it. Okay. If I said repair, yeah, you'd go all the way over there. But let's let's get over here. Your shields should regen, uh, and 99% is close enough for me. Okay, uh, Old Republic Cruiser, Corridors. After scouting through the marine segment, the team pushes through the ship, getting the ship's weapon maintenance bay not far from the bridge. Though this section is not for the main guns, which are located at the tip of the ship. Maybe we can gain some valuable knowledge. One artifact. Eh. Alright guys, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. 
Ooh, we're barely holding on. We are holding on. I think there is some hope. I really do. Um, this is ticking up. If we hit 100, it's going to force us into a status quo. And hopefully all that happens is we lose some of this. If we can hold the north, that's that's going to be good enough for me. Um, we did just have more ships pop off of the assembly line, so we'll get them headed south. But we are going to wrap this episode he up here, like I said. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.